And uh, we move on swiftly to quarterfinal number two here. Coaches and officials out. Crowd of 3,000 packing the uh, stadium here in southern eastern Mexico. And they are awaiting one of their own athletes. Quarterfinal number two. And out they come and the crowd go wild. Not because of Katarina Bauer, who's in the lineup, it's because of Alejandra Valencia. On target number one, representing Mexico, Alejandra Valencia. On target number two, representing Germany, Katarina Bauer. So here we go, 27 year old world number three, Katarina Bauer from Germany has qualified for this competition by ranking. She took a bronze in the stage in Antalya right back at the beginning of the season. Valencia qualified through a host nation spot, got a bronze medal in the team event at Tokyo 2020 and uh, is the 2019 Pan American champion. This is her sixth finals as well. Bauer making her debut will get the match underway. So all of the archers so far have gone high right on those first arrows. Uh, I think that will be just a difference between the practice field and this competition field. And hopefully the next archers will make the adjustments needed. That's a little over adjustment there from Bauer. Going seven on the other side. Not for a measure. A little bit more tinkering with the equipment from Valencia. So 22, the score for Bauer. Uh, 23 provisionally, marking up to a 24 if that eight goes up and the first two set points go to Alejandra Valencia. Uh, Nikki, when we look at the draw uh, of all the four quarterfinals, this has got to be the closest contest, the hardest one to call. Yeah, I think it is. You know, these two pretty similarly matched athletes, aren't they? In some ways, I mean, Valencia's got more of the experience. Like you say, she's been here six times before, but she has never meddled. Um, whereas Bauer, a coach talking to her a lot there about psych, I think, and attacking it. But this is her first time to get to these finals. She had a massive disappointment last year. She didn't make the Olympics to Tokyo, but she's talked about how that disappointment has fueled her to go forward, and she's come out steaming this year really making uh, the bronze medal in Antalya. Well Valencia the world number 16 and also 27 years old she's gonna have the backing of the home crowd but look at this target it's almost half in the dark in the shade but she has got the crowd right behind her here in Tlaxcala she's looking very focused though. Yes yeah, she really is she's used to this noise behind her. Second set, our trailing, shoots first. Still going off to the right. Yeah, just hasn't quite got a sight right, bit confused as to why these arrows are going all over the place. Yes. Well, 
she's found the middle of the target. We can barely see it <laughs> in the shade, but uh, Alejandro Valencia can. Now getting closer and closer to the middle of the target for uh, Katarina Bauer, but uh, provisional 24. Well, I think this one has gone as well. Yes. Middle of the target found again, a 29, an impressive score at 70 meters. And Valencia goes 4-0 up, irrespective of how that measure goes. And there we see the smile. <laughs> She don't want to. She don't want to think she's won this too early, though. No, you want to keep your mind off that altogether. You don't want to be thinking about the outcome. But um, I felt like Bauer came off the line there positively. She had a head nod. She she enjoyed that last shot. It was where she thought it was going to be. A little tweak to the sight mark. But um, Valencia, to me, still looks quite nervous. Again, similar to Bryony Pittman uh, in the match before, where she came in and she was almost sort of shaking uh, into anchor. So there are some nerves there. Let me take a look at Bauer and talk about her coming out and attacking. And it's getting better for her. It's getting better for sure. But uh, Valencia, with the crowd behind her, able to contain her nerves. So it's possible for an archer to win a um, knockout match in three sets. Bauer training 4-0 needs to get the points here. Much longer hold, there's that shaking. Yes. Now has found the form that she needed, looking much more confident now. Nothing to lose. Well, big opportunity here for Bauer. A 10, again, will put this out of reach. It's a 9, so she's guaranteed at least a point, but only if Valencia puts this one in the 10. Yes. She does. Solid in the end with that last arrow. So it's a point apiece. And now Valencia is just one away from progressing through to the semi-finals here. But like I say, uh, Valencia looking happy and relaxed, but Bauer found the middle of the target there. Yeah, she did. It just took her way too long to, to get into this match, that first set. I think it was just a sight mark issue coming from the practice field, but then she kind of lost her confidence with where these arrows were going until the last arrow of that second set. To me, she, there's a head nod, she had got that confidence back. So she's got to win these next two sets outright to stay in the match. Valencia had a really long hold here. You can see the arrow under that brightly coloured clicker. And she just held on to one of those for quite a while before it was released. Showing a bit of tension and nerves. <laughs> Showing <laughs> that she can look at the funny side of it as well. Valencia leading 5-1 on home soil. Host Nation place is how she got here. She's looking strong to capitalise on that pick. Bauer to shoot first in the fourth set. In a must-win fourth set for Bauer. Ocho. Big arrow here from Valencia. She's pushed it out to the eight, so door remains open for Bauer. Going to the right is usually for a re right handed recurve voucher, probably just a little bit soft on the front arm. Powerful on the back, and it just moves the balance of the arrow goes to the right. Tiny bit of wind out there, but I don't think that's really affecting things too much. Massive arrow here. She yes. puts it into the 10. So now some pressure on Valencia. Valencia needs a 10 
to level up and get the points she needs to go through to the semi-final. And she pushes it over to the seven. So a first clear win for Bauer. 26 plays 23. And Bauer did what she needed to do to stay in the match. She got a chance here. She has got a chance. You know, you've got to take the set system that each each set is like reset and just go for it. Doesn't matter what's happened already. A coach was just pointing to the front shoulder then. So I think it's talking about power through the front shoulder, keeping that working. You know, like the shots are going off to the uh, right, as I said, and sometimes that's soft on the front. So she's just got to keep that shot working as it normally does. But it definitely feels like there's a bit of a momentum switch here, and Bauer has the wind in her sails. And that 10, I mean, it was a pressure shot, and it put Valencia under the pressure that pushed this one low into the sevens after two high eights. Big chance here for Katharina Bauer. She still trails by five set points to three as we go into the fifth and final regulation set. If she continues this momentum, they're going to see a shoot off. First, she has to win this set as the wind just starts to build up and she starts with a nine. Valencia finding the middle of the target here. Still has this in her hands. Oh, I need a big one here. Nueve. Just dropping into the nine for a 28. So an eight is all that's required for the win from Alejandra Valencia. And she puts it in a 10 for a perfect finish. And what a confident way to finish this one off. Alejandra Valencia from Mexico beating Katarina Bauer from Germany seven points to three. And you've got to say, the first two quarterfinals here have been very nervy affairs. <laughs> 